Liberals pledge $1.8 million for women's change rooms at Wallara Oval Exclusives Port Rugby Union NSW votes be Georgina Robinson March 17, 2019 5.55p man emerging stronghold of women's rugby in Sydney will have new female-friendly change rooms built under a $1.8 million funding promise from the New South Wales Liberals. The Liberals will announce on Monday their pledge, should they be re-elected on Saturday, to rebuild the ageing facilities at Wallara Oval. The home of East's rugby club and the site of last year's Jack Scott Cup final between Sydney University and Warringah. Artist impression of the proposed new change rooms at Wallara Oval The project would add new change rooms, meaning women will have facilities of their own. It's essential that we provide female athletes the same standard of facilities that men have had all these years, Bruce Notley Smith said. Easts is leading the way in women's rugby and I'm very proud the New South Wales Liberals and National Scand help out. This upgrade is a big win for the girls and women who play sport here, many of whom are from my electorate. The upgrades will allow ISTs to boast some of the top facilities in the Sydney competition, with the club opening their new synthetic pitch on Oval No. 1 just last year. Women's sport stands to benefit from a New South Wales Liberals funding commitment for Wallaria Oval credit. Karen Watson the UNSW women's football team and a local soccer academy also use the facilities. But with Super W, the Wallaroos and the success of the Australian women's sevens team sparking a big uptick in girls' participation around the country. There is no doubt Sydney's women's club competition stands to benefit from the commitment, should the Gladys Berejiklian government win the state election. Loading Easts has also invested heavily in its women's rugby program. Easts Rugby is delighted to be able to offer equality in sporting facilitates here. At Wallara Easts President John Murray said, about 40% of Easts players come from outside the eastern suburbs. So this is a win for women's sport far and wide. Easts Rugby would specifically like to thank the state government for showing a genuine, proactive approach to equality by delivering on community projects such as these facilities. Today's announcement shows decisive and effective action, especially when it comes to women's sport. New South Wales Upper House MP Natalie Ward, who also sits on the Australian Rugby Foundation, said it was a proud day for her. Women are leading the way in Australian rugby and this funding will facilitate more women playing, more women winning and ultimately more women wearing Olympic medals for rugby, Ward said. It is great to see the New South Wales Liberal government recognise they deserve facilities and funding and we are putting that behind them today.